when we divide one number by another number can we get negative quotients and negative remainders let's explore let's begin by considering this program my numerator is 23 my denominator is 5 i have created two variables one to hold the quotient and the other one to hold the remainder as you know in programming the division operator gives us the quotient whereas the modulo operator can be used to obtain the remainder and it is those two operators that i am using and then when i am printing the result this is the output obviously when both the numerator and the denominators are positive then this is the way we are getting the output but what if the numerator is a negative number what if the denominator is a negative number what if both are negative numbers let's explore let me consider the same program by having a negative numerator and a positive denominator like this and when i'll execute this is the output i would execute the same program with a positive numerator and a negative denominator like this this is the output and i would like to execute the program with both the numerator and the denominators as negative like this and this is the output so what is really the logic behind these outputs let me explain let's consider this all of us know that 23 by 5 the quotient happens to be 4 whereas the remainder happens to be 3 same is the case here as well the issue is with the sign when both are positive what is the output when the numerator is negative and the denominator is positive what is the output when the numerator is positive and the denominator is negative what would be the output and when both are negative what is the output is what we need to understand let me tell you the rule a simple rule the sign of the quotient would be the product of the signs of the numerator and the denominator whereas the sign of the remainder would be the same as that of the sign of the numerator well if you are confused i'll apply the rule please notice plus into plus is plus that is the sign of the quotient whereas for the remainder whatever is the sign of the numerator plus so that is what would be there same rule is what i'll apply for the rest minus into plus is minus and for the remainder whatever is the sign of the numerator so it is minus here again plus into minus is minus and the numerator is positive so the remainder is also positive whereas in this case minus into minus that is plus and of course the numerator is negative so the remainder also would be negative this is what as a programmer you need to know in as far as the signs of the quotient and the remainder is concerned hope you have enjoyed the video